Hi, I'm Nathan from Accounting University, and in today's video, I will show you how Notes Payable works in five minutes. Now, to fully understand Notes Payable, for a second, I want you to imagine this. You're exhausted from a long day at school and fall asleep after studying. Later, you go to bed, but then you hear a banging on your front door. You wake up in a panic. It's really early. Who could that be? To your surprise, it's your friend. You sit down with your friend, and he tells you something is wrong. He's asking for $1,000 but has no time to explain. You trust him, hand him the money, wish him the best. So from your friend's perspective, he now owes you $1,000. So he took out a loan. And in accounting, we also call this a note payable. And the key word is payable. So he now owes you money. So think of it as a loan that he must pay back. But the reason they call it payable is because he has the potential to pay it back but it's not guaranteed. And anytime you see the word payable in accounting, think liability. This is the same concept in business. When one business owes another money, they set up a payable on their balance sheet under the liability section. And as you can see, under the liability section, they either place this payable in the short-term or long-term liability section. The basic rules for short-term and long-term are this. Short-term, will be paid within one year. Long term is paid over one year. You and your friend come to an agreement and write down the terms of the loan. Now $1,000 is the amount owed. In accounting, we call this the principal. It is the original amount that is borrowed. And this will be paid back within three months. And in accounting, we call this the term of the note. Term is just another way to say the length of time that it will take for the note to be paid back. And lastly, we have interest. Interest is another way of saying the cost of borrowing. Basically, for borrowing $1,000, your friend will be charged a little bit extra as interest. This is represented in an APR percentage. APR stands for Annual Percentage Rate. And in this example, APR will be 5%. Now, let's jump into a journal entry to see exactly how your friend would record this loan. Now, our August 1st journal entry. So in his journal entry on August 1st, he would debit cash for $1,000 to show the amount collected from the loan, and assets will increase for him. Then he would credit notes payable for $1,000, showing that he owes you $1,000 at a later date and liabilities here would increase. As far as interest goes, nothing yet because no time has passed. So fast forward now, one month, and since time has passed, your friend now must record an adjusting entry for interest. To record our interest, we use a simple formula. Principal times interest rate times time passed. And in this example, we know that interest rate is 5%. So we plug in. $1,000 principal times 5% interest. Now we got to figure out time passed. Well, from August 1st to August 31st, that's one month. So we multiply times one, which is the month that's passed, divided by 12. Since 12 months is in a year, and our interest rate is always annual. So at this time, after one month, your friend owes approximately $4. He will pay you back in three months once the full note is paid. But for right now, he must record an adjusting entry to show the interest accrued. Now, our August 31st journal entry. So we will debit interest expense for $4, showing expenses increasing, and we'll credit interest payable for $4, showing the interest that will be paid back later, and liabilities will be increasing. Now, three months has finally passed and your friend has the full amount, $1,000 plus interest to pay back to you. The date is now October 31st and an entry needs to be recorded. We need to show a few things. First, your friend needs to remove all liabilities from the books. And two, needs to pay the remaining interest that was accrued during those two months. And now, our October 31st journal entry. First, we debit notes payable, removing the $1,000 in principal off the books. 
Next, we debit interest payable to remove the $4 off the books from earlier. And lastly, we debit interest expense for $8. Now, how did we get that? Well, there's two months remaining, right? After August 31st, September and October. So we have to record the interest accrued. So we take $1,000 times the 5% interest times the two months that's passed divided by 12 months. And lastly, we'll credit cash for the total, which is $1,012 that your friend will pay you. And now your friend has paid you back in full plus interest. And you just learned notes payable in five minutes. My name is Nathan from Accounting University. Please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe so you don't miss another video. Until next time.